everybody and welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making Raj's Bacon Potatoes. Raj is my dad who passed away and he was famous for these potatoes. So I'm going to try and do it justice today and um, see how we do. So what you're going to need is the amount of potatoes for your family. What you're going to do is you're going to wash them. We're going to put them in a pan and we're going to boil them only till fork tender. Once they're fork tender, we need to pull them out and just put them on a paper towel to cool. So, and then once your potatoes are in the pan, you can cut up um, bacon and onion. I used about a half a pound of bacon in mine and I used two and a half onions. Um, but you can add more, add less. You don't have to add onions. Do whatever you like, okay? So I'm going to put my potatoes in my pan and I'm going to let them boil. All right, now the, the potatoes are just fork tender. My fork just goes in, but it doesn't break the potato in half. And that's what you want. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drain these and let them cool a little bit so you can handle them. All and in the meantime, I'm gonna get some um, vegetable oil, olive oil maybe, and um, I'm gonna fry up this bacon and the onions and then we'll put the potatoes all together. So I'm just starting this um, bacon cooking. I want some of the um, grease to come out of the bacon and when that happens then I'm going to throw in my onion because you want the bacon grease for your potatoes too. And in fact I'll probably end up adding more bacon grease when the potatoes go in. Um, but we want this not crunchy because your potatoes are going to be kind of soft and you don't want to bite into something really hard but um, just until it's to your liking doneness so now that I can handle the potatoes you want them just to be able to handle them. Don't let them get too cool because if they get too cold they won't um, absorb the bacon grease that is going to go into the pan with them when we fry them. So that's why you only want them fork tender because they're going to go cook for a little bit longer time and that's just to get the, the um, potatoes finished off and to melt all the flavors together. And all you do is just cut it into chunks, however big you want. And just do that with all your potatoes. Alright, so all our potatoes are peeled. I put it together with the onions and the um, bacon. I did put in about another tablespoon of bacon grease. And you still might have to add to that while these cook. You want them coated in bacon grease. That's what makes them so good. They'll start turning a light brown and that's when you want to kind of stop cooking them. I will show you what it looks like. But try not to um, stir these too much because your potatoes will start breaking. Alright, so my potatoes are done and what I wanted to show you was just um, keep adding bacon grease as you feel you need it and will never be enough so don't worry or oh, you can't overdo it but what I'm showing you here is see all this brown on the bottom of my pan I keep scraping that up and I just keep tossing the potatoes gently and you get all those crispy and your potatoes will start turning brown like mine and that's when you want to pull them you don't want to overdo the potatoes because they can burn watch this really closely salt and pepper is needed and Remember, subscribe down below, please, please, please. But like, share, comment, and remember, you do you.